Detroit rappers 42 Doug and Sada Baby's feud has led to countless deaths, including innocent family members caught in the crossfire. Their deadly beef takes the cutthroat nature of the rap game to a whole new level. The ongoing conflict between the rappers' respective gangs has lasted over 15 years, with the shooting outside a parole office sparking an all-out battle. Members of 42 Doug's gang were silenced before they could testify against their rivals in court, leading to even more violence. It's a tragic tale of gang warfare that spilled over into the music industry with devastating consequences. Growing up on the east side of Detroit's notorious Six Mile area, 42 Doug is all too familiar with the gang lifestyle. His involvement with street gangs has landed him in trouble with the law ever since a young age. When I was in jail, I did uh, six years. I had four and a half years for carjacking. Ended up doing six for f***ing the whole while rumors with his gang affiliation has swirled, he's known to have connections to the Six Mile 42 Hustle Boys, a subset of the Crips. At a young age of only 15, Doug was already entrenched in street life. Eventually, he got caught and sentenced to four years in prison for carjacking and felony firearms possessions. That was back in 2010. Unfortunately, trouble didn't stop there for 42 Doug. An altercation with an inmate during his prison stint added another two years to his sentence, turning his four-year bid into a six-year ordeal. However, this setback ultimately had a positive effect on his life. He took the time behind bars to write rap lyrics, and upon his release, he was determined to make a name for himself in the music industry. His early track, Mama I'm Sorry, was a source of inspiration that kept him going. His hard work paid off when he met Lil Baby over a dice game and was subsequently introduced to Yo Gotti, who signed him to both 4PF and CMG record labels. Tracks You to One and We Pay made quite some noise as both Baby and Gotti are well-established rappers. 42 Doug wasn't the only Detroit native out there who was making a name for himself in the rap game. At the same time that Doug was writing bars, we had Sada Baby, who came to the scene with a lot of potential of his own. Sada grew up in the seven mile east side of Detroit, unlike 42 Doug. However, he didn't join a gang until he was 22 years old, which doesn't occur that often most rappers develop their gang affiliations sooner rather than later. You know what I'm saying? We plug each other with plays. Uh, we treat each other's uh, street problems as each, as each other's owns. You feel me? Like Regardless, due to his street affiliations, he was persuaded to join and represent the Bloods. He also has connections to the Crips through his Crip cousin, Icewear Vezo. Sada linked up with some dope artists too. However, he chose a different type of artist to link up with compared with 42 Doug. He's done tracks with real street dudes like King Vaughn and Fredo Bang. Preston was the one that Sada made with Vaughn, and the Fredo Bang collab track went by the name of Big Step Up. All big tracks to this very day. In Detroit's music scene, both 42 Doug and Sada Baby are recognized as artists who will continue their city's musical legacy. However, the cause of their feud and the one aspect that links their fate in this conflict is their place of origin. For years, there's been a gang rivalry between the Six Mile East Side Hustle Boys and the Seven Mile East Side Bloods, which automatically put them on opposing sides. But it wasn't until T Grizzly came up with Doug and Sada that problems started emerging. T's another rapper from Detroit that ignited the conflict between them. T got involved in the hood politics despite being a part of the streets himself. Many believe that he should have known better and that this was a big mistake. However, it's also believed that T was in it for the moolah and didn't really care about the drama that would follow. Ultimately, his interest was building his brand and providing for those who were close to him. That's no different from what other hustlers like Young Dolph did. It's a matter of creating something out of nothing, and nobody can judge him for that. Grizzly collaborated with 42 Twins on a song called Secrecy, and after that, Grizzly signed Sada Baby to his record label, which sparked conflict between Sada and the 42 gang due to affiliating with both sides. You be speaking so much and direct on this shit, I'm just keep this shit 100, dog. When you don't wear this bro, it don't matter what level you on, or uh, none of that shit. This shit not about no rap or no fame, bro. This be real, bro. I got then died prison and died over this shit. This led to a heated exchange between 42 Twins and Grizzly, each calling each other out. The situation escalated to the point where death threats were being exchanged between the two, laying the groundwork for the conflict to spill over into the careers of Sada Baby and 42 Doug. Also shots fired into an SUV, killing the manager and family member of a popular Detroit rapper. 
partnership between T. Grizzly and Sada Baby dissolved after Sada's aunt, who was their mutual manager, became involved in the ongoing street feud with one of Sada's opponents, resulting in her becoming a victim. However, T. continued to maneuver the feud by maintaining his connection with the 42 Doug and even released a track called MWBL. From Sada's point of view, this was pure treachery, and even after being dropped from Grizzly's label, the feud with 42 continued on. This became evident after a party in Detroit where 42 Doug and his gang performed a diss track on stage while Sada was present to perform as well. The whole thing did not go by unnoticed. The whole 42 performing this on stage at T Grizzly birthday bash is a moment in Detroit history. Many believe that the tensions would escalate into violence, but fortunately things did not erupt into physical altercations. However, this incident added more fuel to the already burning fire when rumors surfaced that 42 Doug was involved in the robbery that led to Sada Baby losing his chain and other belongings, along with his own gun. Sada further exposed this rumor when he was publicly stating on Instagram that he does not associate with Cleveland rapper Doughboy. Doughboy is a rapper from Cleveland, Ohio, who kicked things off in rap as early as 2012 with his mixtape Boys in the Hood. Later, he made a name for himself and signed to Future's record label Free Bands. Even though Doughboy doesn't represent the same block or city, he became entangled himself in the beef between Doug and Sada and became a target on Sada's scope. Doughboy responded to confronting Sada Baby in a video, urging him to reveal the truth about the robbery incident. When we, when we we linked up when I saw you that day what happened why you don't like me what happened tell the people why you don't like me I've been quiet this whole time it's been so long I ain't said Sada, on the other hand, continued to take jabs at both 42 Doug and Doughboy, a legend that their claims were also fabricated for attention. However, Doughboy eventually disclosed what actually happened in the streets. If you let fans provoke you to keep speaking on sh you should have been left alone, then you were goofy. After Doughboy publicly acknowledged Sada Baby being robbed, 42 Doug wasted no time and responded and laughing at the alleged truth being exposed. Sada, on the other hand, remained consistent in sticking with his own story. He claimed it was all clout chasing. Despite the loss of T Grizzly's aunt, the tension between the two rappers only escalated due to their pride and ego, especially since they both represented Detroit. I was cool at the fact that he had let me hear his album before it came yeah. out. So I get if he was going to cool. Sada continued to disrespect Doug, even hinting at him being a poor performer in an interview after the release of Big Sean's Friday Night Cypher track. Today, 420, man, we going early blood. Boy. It seems like the beef between Sada Baby and 42 Doug is still ongoing, with both sides taking shots at each other in interviews and on social media. Despite the alleged robbery and the truth coming out, Sada still denies any involvement and continues to disrespect 42 Doug. With T Grizzly caught in the middle and already having suffered a loss with his aunt's passing, one might hope that the situation could be resolved peacefully, but egos and pride may make that difficult. Doug's recent experiences have not been very positive, with his street life catching up to him him, while Sada, who did not grow up in that environment, manages to stay out of trouble. In May 2020, Doug was arrested on a gun charge that's still pending, and that he's since been released on bail. Well, street around 4 p.m. local time, and discovered a man grazed by bullets. He was assessed at the scene by Grady EMS, while two other men who were shot. However, this is just the beginning of his problems. Recently, we saw shooting a music video with Roddy Rich, and some goons fired shots at him. Although some people speculate that Sada may have been involved in the incident, many believe that he he is not that much of a gang member and that the situation may have been related to something else entirely. It is difficult to determine who is involved in the ongoing beef and who is not. However, what is clear is that the situation is putting people's lives in danger and the animosity between the two is only increasing with each new incident. It is important to hope that both parties remain safe as losing either one would be a significant loss to the city of Detroit. Some T Grizzly fans thought he did not deserve all the trauma that was caused, not only to him, but his family too. T didn't deserve what happened to his family. JB didn't deserve that. He was out here trying to help everyone, but he got hella loyal fans who still think he is keeping it real to this very day. T Grizzly was always on some real shit, still is 100.